if you found me from today's video because what I eat in a day videos do get a lot of traction. I just want to say welcome. I'm Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach. I help people just like you see and live your potential to see meaning and purpose in who you are, what you bring to others, to yourself and to this world. I actually worked in health and wellness and as a personal trainer prior to becoming a life coach where now I work in all areas. It encompasses everything, including health and wellness. I started my health and wellness coaching practice 16 years ago and worked as a personal trainer one-on-one -on -one with clients in the area that I live in. I stepped away several years later to go to the online space. And now I pretty much do everything on a virtual platform like Zoom or just a simple phone call. Those are the two different ways that I conduct my coaching. You can learn more about my coaching on my coaching and consulting website. And I also have a personal brand website, so check it out. Some other details about me is I am just a few months shy of turning 53 this year. I am in menopause. I've been married to my husband for 32 years and we have five beautiful adult daughters. We have three grandchildren and a bonus grandchild. I'm going to show you what I eat and I'm going to cover why I eat the way that I do. But first, I want to share a little history. What I share with you today is typical almost every single day. There's not a lot of variety. <laughs> You're not going to see any recipes, although I do have a couple of recipes on my website that you certainly can take advantage of. It's easy, it's simple, it's typically one food, one food. There's no, no fancy preparing, there's no adding in a bunch of additional things to just amp up the calories. It's very simple and it works for me. I've eaten this way for 16 years and it's because the five whys that I share with you, it checks off those boxes. Now, when I work one-on-one -on -one with my clients, I never advise my client what to eat. So what I share with you today is by no means advising. In fact, most people wouldn't have any interest in eating what I do. It just probably isn't going to be something that most people can stick with. But I have 16 years under my belt, so I'm very accustomed to this. My food tastes good to me. It may not be what I would call a cheat or a celebratory meal, and I have videos where I talk about celebratory meals. If you follow me, you know exactly what that is. And we'll talk a little bit more about those celebratory meals, and I'm going to do an upcoming video where I share some of the celebratory or cheat meals that I take. But I'm not here to recommend anyone eats the way that I do or eats the food that I choose to. If you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to talk about what your diet looks like. My diet never comes up in coaching. I may get a client ask me something about my diet and I will answer briefly because the focus is on you your goals, where you're coming from, where you would like to go, what your current eating is, what your history is, and where you'd like to go. And if there's anything that you feel doesn't serve you or a style of eating you prefer, that's what we work with. I work with clients who are vegan, vegetarian, keto, carnivore, paleo, you name it, I work with clients that eat all different style diets and I would never tell my client to eat differently or like me. It is all about your success. So when I share today, I'm just sharing. That's all it is. I'm just walking you through <laughs> the mundane basically of what I eat, but by no means I am never encouraging someone to eat what I do. Let's cover the five whys 
to why I eat what I do. And this really is where the success lies for me. No particular order, but number one, to maintain a low body fat percentage. So important to me. Number two is to maintain a high muscle mass. Number three is to manage myself in a way that I stay this weight and size so that I can fit into my clothing because I only have one size of clothing. So I can't creep out of it. It holds me very accountable. That right there has served me well. Number four is I need to have energy for my demanding life. And when I eat the way that I do in the timing of my eating, it complements this demanding lifestyle. And number five, the cooking and prep for my day-to-day -day eating has got to be easy, breezy, quick, no fuss. I need to be able to stay on top of it and this checks off the boxes. I have also managed my weight my entire adult life, even through pregnancies. That doesn't mean that I didn't put weight on, pregnancy weight on during my pregnancies, but I managed it and I always took the weight off. I also have a weight window. For years, it's been 120 to 125, and I've managed that my whole adult life. Towards the end of last year in quarter four, I actually played a little bit and I was actually able to get my weight window down a little bit. So I have found that the lowest I have a desire to go to fit into my clothing properly is 117. And I really like to keep the weight window between 117 and about 123. And that's because that is where my clothes fit me the best. I am five foot six, I wear a size two or a size 26 in jeans, and I have no desire to be any smaller than that. And I also have no desire or intentions uh, on being any bigger than that. Essentially, I have no intention to replace my wardrobe, so I, I'm planning on just kind of going out in this direction. Did I put weight on in menopause? No, but I could have. So what I did is I basically was like, okay, <laughs> some tweaks need to be made. Some tweaks need to be made because menopause showed up. I made those tweaks and then I was able to manage my weight. So menopause doesn't put weight on us. It just, it, 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 it shows up and you have to make adjustments and many women choose not to, and that's perfectly fine. I just, again, I have one size of clothing that I need to fit into. So I had to make some tweaks and modifications and just work harder in certain areas. When I walk you through my six meals today, and that's pretty much what I have every single day is I eat six times. So you can imagine why I need them to be very simple and very easy, but I need to enjoy my food. They do, it, my food has to taste good. That's a requirement for me. I don't have specific times because I have a client-based business, so it just depends on where my clients fall for that day or if I'm popping in some filming. I like to keep little pockets between my client sessions so that I can eat because I do better by eating small portions all throughout the day, and I think a lot of that has to do with my aggressive workout regime, it's not uncommon for women and men that work out to the level that I do. They function better and their energy stays up when they eat small meals all throughout the day. I am absolutely comfortable with intermittent fasting. I don't apply it in my life. I have cl many clients who apply intermittent fasting and also in my three week or 21 day program that I run year round, many of the women do implement intermittent fasting. So I'm a fan of it. I just choose not to because I prefer to have my first meal of the day upon finishing my intense workout. I will warn you, you won't see any fruit in my diet. I don't eat fruit. And it's not because I have a problem with fruit, not at all. I prefer vegetables. That is my preference and it served me well. I'm just not a big fruit fan, so I just, 
eat vegetables, but sometimes when people have watched my videos in the past, because they don't see fruit, they may think that I'm against it or, or I don't like it. It's not that I dislike it, I just prefer vegetables over fruit. I'm also going to share what I drink throughout the day. So let's take a pause here. Let's dive into my entire day of eating. And again, I typically start my first meal upon completing my workout routine. So I would say typically my first meal is between 6 and 6.30 a.m. As you know, if you follow me, I get up at four in the morning and I immediately do my workout, but I start with my physical activity and I do about 45 minutes, sometimes one hour of admin work, barely moving on my ARC trainer. I'll talk more about that in a different video or most of you that follow me on Instagram stories, you're well aware of the whole rotation because I jump on Instagram stories a lot when I am doing that physical activity. And then I do my intense workout, then I go upstairs, I prepare my breakfast, which is always the same, rarely is it anything else, and I have that immediately. And then it's typically about every two and a half to three hours before I have the next meal. That's about the spacing in between. And then it's really important to me to shut my eating down plenty early before I go to bed. I go to bed somewhere between seven and eight, lights out by eight always year round. And I would say that I try to end my eating by five, but it depends on my evening clients. If I have a six o'clock client, I'm going to make sure I eat before that six o'clock client. But if I have a five to six o'clock client and I'm getting off a coaching session at six, I may eat then. So it just depends, but I really try to aim around the five o'clock. Even There's even times when it may be a little bit earlier. So let's take a look at what I ate today. Meal number one, four scrambled egg whites with pepper, pink Himalayan salt, sprinkled with my favorite Trader Joe's seasoning, which will be linked, paired with one serving of oats, prepared with water, added in some cinnamon and one tablespoon of my favorite protein powder, cookies and cream, which I will have linked in the description box below. Meal two, keeping it simple with canned chicken breast, yes, that's right, canned. It works for me, about three ounces, sprinkled with the Trader Joe's seasoning that I love so much and paired with half an avocado sprinkled with pink Himalayan salt. Meal three, one packet of tuna with nothing in it except for about one half cup chopped celery. I'm not a big lover of raw celery. I do like it prepared and cooked in certain dishes or casseroles or soups, but that's what I had on hand. Often I will pair my tuna with maybe some cucumber slices on the side sprinkled with pink Himalayan salt or some other type of vegetable. Meal four, I'm gonna share a couple different variations. It's always a salmon filet from Sizzlefish. Don't forget, I will have a link in the description box below to take advantage of a couple different coupon codes and offers from Sizzlefish. The first one you see where the salmon is on a bed of lightly steamed or sauteed spinach, and I paired it with a Maryland crab cake that I also get in my Sizzlefish subscription. Now, I don't always have a crab cake, although I would love to. <laughs> it just would be a lot of extra calories. I only get four crab cakes per month in my box. So here you see my salmon filet paired with broccoli. I always pair it with whatever vegetable I have on hand. I had some broccoli, so this is another day. So this is just another variation that I am showing you. And on a separate day, I paired my salmon filet from Sizzle Fish with green beans. These are fresh green beans, just like the broccoli was fresh. I 
literally microwave it in a microwavable pan with a little bit of water and I just sprinkle it with the Himalayan salt. So no butter, no oil, no seasonings, easy peasy. I'm all about keeping things simple. And while this may not be ideal because it is not a whole food, it clearly takes some processing, but here you see one of my favorite prepared Pro, or I should say my favorite prepared protein shake, cake batter delight. I usually pepper this in somewhere. It may not be meal number five. Yes, this would be a meal in my book. It may be peppered in somewhere else. It just depends on my schedule that day, how my coaching clients work, wherever I need to work it in, but I need easy and this accommodates easy for me. And then almost always for meal number six, you see four scrambled egg whites again with pepper, Himalayan pink salt and topped with my favorite Trader Joe's seasoning. Again, nothing else in the pan. I don't add anything to my egg whites. I don't spray the pan. I don't add oil. Nothing sticks to the pans that I use. I'll actually have the pans that I use linked. Sharing what I drink throughout the day. Well, first of all, you see about eight glass water bottles here. I fill these daily. I actually fill about three days worth at a time. And then I drink these throughout the day. I never ever fall below eight bottles and they're all 16 ounce bottles. A lot of times I will tap into maybe two more. So I would say eight to 10 of these bottles I go through per day and I drink them at room temperature, which is my preference. And here you see my BCAA glutamine from Transparent Labs. I'll have a link in the description box below. This flavor is sour apple and I drink this two times per day. One post workout, which is quite early in the morning. As you know, my workout is very early. And then I will have another one later in the day in the afternoon, maybe between two and three o'clock because I have an aggressive and intense workout regime. And this complements that regime and my muscle recovery and my lower calorie diet. I keep four blender bottles ready to go, prepared in the fridge. I actually walk you through more in depth in a recent video where I talk more in depth about my BCAA and glutamine supplement. You'll see here my little guilty pleasure, which is the Fresca sparkling grapefruit. It's a sparkling water, which really essentially tastes like a pop. I have about one of these per day. Often it is with my salmon meal. It just complements it so well, but it is my guilty pleasure. I'm really kind of addicted to these, but one per day isn't going to hurt me. And then the only other thing that I drink throughout the day is two, sometimes three, but I would say mm, 80 to 90% of the time, two mugs, yes, mugs, of black coffee with one packet of stevia in each. And I have that upon awakening early in the morning when I start my workout and throughout my workout. Well, there you have it. What I eat in a day, and again, by no means am I encouraging anyone to eat what I do. Um, typically, that will never serve us is to completely copy someone else's diet. It's better to have a plan that you can follow. I mentioned my 21 day program that I run year round earlier in the video. That program is three week intense. It's three weeks of intense where I work with you in a group type coaching where you will get a series of videos from me to get you started for three week intense. And then we are on a Facebook community page where I jump on and do coaching. And this is a place to encourage each other and support one another on this journey. It's been a huge success. Success. I'm in my fourth year of running three week intense and please read the testimonials and just know that women of all ages, stages and seasons join this program and have great success. I also have a workshop coming up the end of this month on creating a self-assessment document to help you live 
a mastery life. There will be links in the description box below to take advantage of learning more about that program and that workshop and to register if it interests you. Also, I talked a little bit about my salmon and fish. I do have a couple different codes to take advantage of with Sizzlefish. You can take advantage of a subscription box like what I do. I get 28 pieces of fish sent to me monthly on rotation on auto ship. I have a recent video where I covered that more in depth. And then I also talked about my raw fountain juices that I utilize throughout the month. There's a link for that. And then the glutamine BCAA that I support my diet with and my exercise routine, I will have a link to that as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to address all of them. I read all of my comments and there's always the customer support email if you're looking for something that I missed. And of course, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one in coaching, I'd love to have you. You can check out the coaching and consulting website and get more information about one-on-one -on -one coaching and what package would serve you best. Thanks for sticking it out. I hope you gained a lot from this video and it inspired and motivated you to come up with an eating style or eating plan that serves you best, that will help you achieve your goals to manage your weight or get into a weight window that you can manage. And I have so many videos here on YouTube about diet, exercise, um, our weight set point. Um, one thing I do want to share is, do I sometimes creep out of my weight window when I have a celebratory meal? Watch my celebratory or cheat meal videos to find out how I work them in. I talk about how my diet is about 97% clean, 3% celebratory. I have a whole video on that. Check it out if you want more information on that. But that's where a weight set point is key because if I creep out of my weight window because let's say I go on vacation or there's a lot of holiday parties and I'm indulging a little more than usual, yes, of course, just like anyone else, my weight will creep up a lot faster these days in menopause than it once did. And I don't get away with as much. I get inflamed very easily at this stage. But that weight set point serves me because I've managed it so long. So as soon as I'm back on track, which is always immediately, I just have to level out. It may take a couple of days, a couple of days longer than it used to in my younger years, but then I go right back and I'm always on the plan and that's the key to stay on the plan. So thanks for being here and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought of this video. Give it a like. Be sure to follow me on Instagram stories where I share all the time. I also have two newsletters that go out each week, so take advantage of that. Links to everything's in the description box below.